ladies and gentlemen, celebrating 75 episodes of Really Bothering Pete, I mean, hosting this show, here he is, your host with the most from coast to coast, Steve Katzo! <laughs> House man, my name is Steve Katzos, and this is our late night show from Boston. We're excited because it's our 75th episode. <laughs> now, singer Katy Perry has been edited out of an episode of Sesame Street for showing what parents thought was too much cleavage. Ironically, that episode is brought to you by the letters T and A. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our show is run entirely by volunteers, and we'd like to honor one member every week. Let's turn our attention over to Jim, the announcer. Jim, what do you got for us, buddy? Well, Steve, tonight we honor somebody very special. He's done a lot for this show. He's gotten coffee for you. He's washed the floors and everything. He's done everything you could think of. Tonight, he's the tape operator, and we're honoring Uma Goodman. Thank you, everybody. Let's hear it. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Oh. Right, Uma. Uma. Uh, I call him Yuma, and obviously he's not running tape tonight because he's sitting in the audience. Thank you, Yuma. Yuma. <laughs> Folks, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg announced Friday that he's donating $100 million towards improving public schools in Newark, New Jersey. In a related story, MySpace founder Tom would still like to be your friend. <laughs> Folks, for the last 75 weeks, there's been one man at the helm in the back room. Please put your hands together for Lacus, the producer. <laughs> now, un unfortunately, Lacus has come down with the flu, and luckily for us, consulting producer Jeff Monroe is in the back room. Hello, Jeff. All right, Jeff. Hello, Steve. Now, Jeff, I know every week we like to talk about a new city that's airing our program. What do you have for us this week? I heard Watertown, Massachusetts. All right, hooray, fun, Watertown. Fun fact, Steve, that uh, it took 75 weeks to get two towns away. Yeah. So we're doing good. Yeah, thanks, Jeff, I know. We're trying. I'm really happy that you pointed that out. Lawmakers in Ireland have given the go-ahead for the police to send undercover underage teens into pubs to make sure they don't get served alcohol. They're hoping the results are less tragic than their last sting operation, the Altar Boy Exchange Program. <laughs> oh, everybody, I'm honored to have a house band playing original music every week. The man in charge of our music is Tony, the band leader. Hello, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Tony, uh, what's happened to our bass player, Joe Murphy? Joe Murphy got into a bicycle accident on, uh, on Sunday. Yeah. And, uh, and he's out for six weeks. He's okay, I know we, we've well, got a, a replacement player, if you will. Yeah. And, and yeah. who is it over there? We have Michael from North Carolina again. He's been uh, with us before, actually, helping us out. Michael, thanks for sitting in, buddy. <laughs> you know, when it, when it comes to doing a show with volunteers, it's great to have people who sit in once in a while. So, Tony... Thanks for doing that, pal. Yeah, no problem. All right, keep That's it all like together. The, the house band, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, it's time to talk about who's on the show tonight. We do have a celebrity, and he comes from China. He's comedian Joe Wong. <laughs> we also have a stand-up comedian performing tonight. He comes from Boston, Massachusetts. He's Jerry Caruso. Finally, we have a musical guest from Providence, Rhode Island. He's Greg Leto. And all of that is coming up for you right after this. 